What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome to Planting Corn and Canola Harvest, 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 Harvest. We're planting corn and harvesting canola today. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So what we got right now is we have our big bud. We have it on our horse. I believe this is a 12 meter uh, plow. Plow. Cultivator. You know what I'm talking about. You knew, you knew before I even said it. That's what we have going here. Same field. We've got this guy, the Krovitz, on our corn planter. We only have one one planter that'll do corn. So this is it. Got him just a rocking and a rolling. It's right behind this guy, actually. This is our big bud that we just passed. Same field, I'll let him do three passes. And then we jumped right in. We are rocking and rolling. We are getting it going. A bit overlap, not too bad. I have both these on workers right now. Kind of doing the work for us, all the tough stuff. Because we got something else to do right on the other side of the farm. And this is it right here. We got our canola to get. Now we're going to be using the same headers that we used in our last video where we got the weed up. Cool thing I saw about these headers. Let's so get them to go down. So they actually rest on these wheels down here. So it kind of just skims along. These wheels go. And they have little shocks on them. I think that's just neat. It's going to raise that up. But it, that's just so cool, isn't it? It's got to be cool. Man, it just has to be cool. So here's our... Well, two of our three canola fields. We do have a smaller canola field uh, at the northeastern part of our map. We'll get this guy going. Set it on a worker. See how fast it's going to be collecting. Six miles an hour. One percent. Two percent. So not tremendously fast, if I'm honest. And we got another one. If you didn't know, we have bought two of these guys. We have one one for me, one for you. Let's jump in here. First person. Do love doing this on first person. Slow down. There's the sign. Lower that down just so we can see what we're doing here. We out. We are out. Those are sugar cane planters. And then we have our plows inside there. We are moving a little quick for canola. Probably. Let's get this header raised up. That thing's just dragging the ground. So I'm going to do both of these on separate fields. And I would say, let's see which one gets done first. I think we all know that this one over here is going to get done first. It's pretty obvious. I mean, it's... Yeah, it is what it is. It's just a smaller field. It looks larger, but it's actually not. It's much smaller due to the size. Due to the size. Of course it's smaller due to the size. Uh, <laughs> it's got kind of a, a wedge at the top end on it. And there we go. Canola. Thank you, thank you. How is our plow getting along? Cultivator, damn it! Looks good. Planner is looking good. Spending a lot of money right now on stuff. That's okay. It's gonna get a little shaky. That's all right. We have four workers out right now. Yeah, a little little shaky with four workers. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a little break, and I'm gonna see you guys. We've got a couple things done. So you can see here kind of what I'm up to. Got my Manjoskin truck coming up to the side. Plopping that. The best thing is to use cruise control. Most all harvesters will run at the first click of six miles an hour. 
So that's what I try and do. I just set it first click of six miles an hour and get it close. And then try not to go right or left. Not too much anyway. Try and keep it all pretty stationary, pretty centered. Um, trying to think if there's any hints I can give you or, or anything that makes this easier. Uh, I usually do like to follow the harvester to the end of the row. I have no reason for doing that. It's literally just something I want to do. Something I want to try and, uh, you know, when I was like, well, I guess this is what I do now. Follow him to the end. He's done. And then instead of turning cruise control off, you just hit the gas and take off. There you go. If you have crop destruction on, you don't have any worries. If you're doing it kind of, you know, on the correct side of the harvester. If you don't have, oh gosh, what is that mod called? Crop destruction on, then it really doesn't matter. Though if you want to keep your realism going, you really want to do it, you know, you really want to keep your realism going if you're going to be doing that. And so I like to at least try to keep it on this side. Sometimes you can't help it. That's okay. But I do enjoy doing this. And it's a lot of fun. And carting is always a lot of fun. I've never been a fan of just sitting in the harvester and going. I love to cart. So we're going to wait for this. We're actually not going to go to the end of the row with this one. Because i got something else I want to show you. And I'm going to do it in the same clip. And are we there yet? Got to be getting close. Or very close. There it is. Alright. So we're grabbing this. We have our truck. Gray. A little bit blue. Trying to go too fast. It is easy to spin out. And easy to flip. And if you flip. The cool thing is everything stays in the truck if you flip. Which I've always thought was interesting. And then as we get closer to the main farm, of course, frame rates are dropping. So we have four, uh, four AI going at once. So that's a fun thing. And I come over here, drop it. See how much we got going on right now with canola. 48,749. Cool. So let's turn that off. Now, that's our harvesters. Let's take a look here. So it looks like we got one, one more row to do once this cultivation is complete. And then this is actually about a row and a half behind now. <laughs> they were going, well, I guess now it's a full row almost behind where it was. Which is totally crazy. It, it's amazing how much faster, just one mile an hour, what it can do to a field. But, I mean, it's, it's been quite nice, if I'm honest. It's been, been pretty well. And this, uh, this tractor has been absolutely great for, for planting corn. This is perfect. It really is. It's just perfect. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang out here. And then I'm going to get this slit myself. Because if I don't get that slit, there's a chance that it could overlap some and get our barley or our canola up here. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to do it myself. Yes. <laughs> and then we're going to jump back once everything is complete. Once everything is done and over. We're going to jump back. And we'll see you guys off before we leave. And we're going to get ready for the next episode. Creeping through the yard. Yes, we are. So, we've finished up with our corn planting. We've also finished with our canola harvest. We've got a good amount of canola. A, a lot more than I was expecting, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm really happy that we have what we have. Let's see if we can swing around here. Swing it wide. There we go. Perfect. Hop out. Now, where... Where, where, where are the harvesters? I guess they're over here somewhere, right? Yeah, here we go. Bring that in. Fold this guy up. Where are we? I see where we're at. Cool. 
So this guy's empty. Let's pop our head in here real quick. Canola. We have 128,024 liters. That's off of these two fields right here. Um, if you know canola, you don't you don't really get a whole ton at once. Now now you do get quite a bit, but it's not like you know wheat or barley, um, or maybe even soybeans to to think about it. Um, it takes it a minute to to fill the thing up, but once it does, you are just fine. Let's see if we can follow this road around here. There's our other one. All done, all done. So our next video, what we're going to be doing, we are going to be harvesting our barley and the remaining canola. So we'll be doing that. We'll also be cultivating the fields and we'll be putting our new crops in them. Now our new crops, we just did wheat, barley, canola. So we're going to do in sunflower, soybeans, and corn. Now, corn's the only thing we can plant today. Um, but as soon as tomorrow hits, so the next day, we'll be doing sunflowers and soybeans. So that is good. That is fun. So that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoy. If you have, please drop a like. If you know, not already, please subscribe. And we will see you guys later. Peace.